Hey guys, Ash here from curseforever.com and this is my tutorial on how to unroot the Nexus 7. So, uh, we've got a rooted Nexus 7 here and uh, in case you guys want to sell your device off or want to send it in for warranty and you want to unroot it, this is what you need to do. So, the first thing you do is download the Nexus 7 toolkit from the link below. It will be there in the description and that will take you to this page and just go ahead and download the latest version alright I don't want to give a direct link because if the version is updated I don't want you guys to be using a older version so that's the link to the page go ahead download the download the Nexus 7 toolkit and guys when you install it uh, please install it to the default locations because if you install it to any other location there might be issues uh, it by default it installs at C drive uh, Nexus 7 toolkit so just leave it as it is and when you open it, it might seem to freeze for a bit. Don't worry, just leave it running. It will uh, load up. It takes a little bit of time. Just don't worry about it. All right, go ahead and hit no over here. Alright guys, uh, what you need to do here is if you are on Android uh, Jellybean 4.1 just go into settings and you will have developer options over here go in and enable USB debugging but uh, I'm currently running uh, 4.2 so with 4.2 what you need to do is go into settings and then uh, about tablet and on your build number just tap it 7 times and now you are a developer so now go back you get developer options so now just go into it okay, let me hold it with two hands and enable debug, USB debugging so guys the first thing you do once once the toolkit opens up is install uh, Google Nexus 7 drivers on your PC just hit 1 and to make your choice hit 1 and hit enter I'm not going to do that because uh, I already have it installed and once you've done that go ahead and connect your Nexus 7 to the PC with a micro USB cable so guys once you've connected your Nexus 7 just go ahead and hit 23 to refresh the main menu and if you have your uh, drivers installed properly you should see your device ID pop up here under ADB So over here guys, the first thing you do is hit number 9, that is download extract plus flash google factory stock rom. So over here, uh, what you're going to do is, if you have a, a google factory image, select 2, or if you want to download it, hit 1. So that's the latest build. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit 1. So right now the file is being downloaded. So guys, I'm just going to wait for the download to complete and once it's done, I'll be back with you. Alright guys, the download is not done. So, do you want to fla flash the image now? F yes. Is your phone in fast boot mode? Let me just check that. It's not in fast boot mode, it's in ADB. So, let's type no. So guys, if you ever get stuck in ADB mode, all you need to do is just unplug the micro USB cable and re-plug it back in. And there you see, it gets detected and the phone, I mean, and the Nexus 7 will reboot now, like it says, rebooting. There you see it, and that's in the fast boot mode now. 
Alright guys, we're done. We're done here. And like it says, the tablet is rebooting. So let's just wait for it to boot up. We are almost done here. Once it's re once it reboots, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and relock the bootloader, and then you're good to sell it off or send it in for warranty. It's so just waiting for it to boot now. All right, we're up. Let's just quickly get through setup again. Okay, just a moment. So again guys, uh, sorry, just pull it down, go into settings, developer options, turn it on, okay, and select USB debugging. Alright, and now we can just leave the tablet as it is. And select option 3 over here. Over here, you just need to select option two. That's relock bootloader, and it's gonna ask you whether you are you are in fast boot mode. So you're gonna type in N or no. So we're gonna wait for ADB mode, and once it detects it, it's gonna uh, cause the tablet to reboot. Okay, rebooting into fast boot mode now. So over here, if you can see, it says unlocked. So in a moment, it's going to be changed to locked. There you see it guys, the bootloader now shows is locked. So we have flashed the stock ROM and we have relocked the bootloader and it just shows it's locked unlike the, unlike HTC devices where it shows it's relocked. With the ISOS Nexus 7 it says locked. So you can claim warranty without any issues. So just go ahead tap start as in hit the power button. And that's it. You're set. So that's pretty much it guys for onboarding the Nexus 7. Uh, if you guys run into any issues or if you need any help, you can always hit us up at cursedforward.com slash forums. So uh, before you go guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. So very important. So uh, that's pretty much it guys. If you guys do want to help me out, uh, use my links to Amazon and for Indian viewers, use my links to Flipkart from the description. Uh, it's just that every time you guys place an order, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks. Uh, you just need to go through my links. Uh, uh, you don't have to necessarily purchase smartphone related stuff. If there's anything you want to order online, just go through my links, search for it, order it, and uh, you guys will be helping me out. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, and if you guys have any requests, if there's any certain video you want me to make, or if you just want to stay updated on my latest updates and videos, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus. Again, contact details in the description. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Till then, stay subscribed and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.